of Sports Talk at the Sports Desk. I'm Maddie. And I'm CJ. And this week, we are doing our NFL preview with our special guest, Austin Miller. The and Austin Miller. The Austin Miller. Thank you. And uh, first of all, we want to talk about football. Uh, first game, lost to 4-0, 25-7. Uh, felt like we were in the game the whole time until the fourth quarter. Just kind of fell apart. Key players got hurt. Um, last week, played Blue Springs, who won the state title last year for 6A in Missouri. And we lost 49-14. So this week, playing Truman tonight at William Christman. They're 0 2. We're 0 2. Looking for our first win. It's going to be a good game. And coming from like a fan's point of view, the game last week was still a fun game to watch the whole time because it was an intense game throughout the whole thing. So the scoreboard does lie sometimes. It does. But um, volleyball this week and last week, we started playing games. And last week, um, we had our home opener with Carney. And we all, they're, like, they're a very athletic team, but we all played together and ended up beating them pretty bad. And then Monday we played against Lee Summit North and they're a pretty good team also. And it was the same turnout. We all just played together and played as a team and got the win. And then um, Tuesday and yesterday we played Ruskin and St. Joe. So we had a travel out there and we beat both, kept them both under 10. So that was a pretty good couple weeks for us. And then we have a tournament Saturday at Winnetonka that if we play how we can, we should win. And if we don't win, then that's a disappointment. So it's been a good start. And then girls softball has also been doing pretty well. Um, they played Park Hill this week and won that rivalry match 1-0. to zero. And then um, they also played Winnetonka and won. And then last night they had a rough go against Lee Summit West and lost. But they can just learn from it, and then hopefully by the end of the season it won't matter. Uh, boys soccer, they just got third at the Overland Park tournament hosted by Blue Valley. And this week or this next week, they have a home game on Monday against St. Joe, so come out and support for the first home game of the year for the soccer boys. And then girls tennis is also doing well. They played Sion this week, and I was a big win against them. I'm pretty sure it was 4-0. Four four to to zero. Yeah, 4-1. to one. So that's good for them. They have a lot of varsity returners this year, so they should yeah. be a good season. A lot of state qualifiers from last year. Yeah. And now we're going to do our NFL preview and bring in, as we call him, Caveman. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. NFL Thanks, over man. here. All right, nice to have you on, on the set. Thank you. Uh, anything you want to say? Uh, you know, she's kicking off home opener this weekend. That's the thing I'm most excited for in the NFL. Uh, of course, because we're from Kansas City and all, but hopefully I can make it out there. How did you feel about their, their win, their dominant victory last week over Jacksonville? Uh, you know, I mean, the Jaguars, I wouldn't exactly – say they're the best team, but that's better than we did last year, obviously. Yeah. Uh, we did, we dominated them pretty much every aspect of the game like we should have. So, I mean, I'm proud of how they played, but first two tests definitely this weekend. You like what Andy Reid's doing? Yeah, no, I like, he, he has some aggressive play calling. I mean, you saw, I think it was like the first offensive play mm -hmm. of that game. He threw like a deep, it deep phase route, but, and we almost got action, it. But, yeah, I mean, I, I like his play calling. I think he uh, he's a good addition to the Chiefs. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, if the Chiefs keep winning and stuff, I'm excited to see that because that just changes, like, the whole attitude of Kansas, about, City. of Kansas City. And, like, anywhere you go, people are just, like, pumped up on a Sunday to, like, be watching the Chiefs. So especially, that's always fun. Especially with the Royals. We're back into the wild card hunt. Last show, we had lost seven in a row, and we were, weren't feeling that good about them. Now we're back. Hopefully yeah. we can stay in the postseason. Are we two and a half back? Or what? Are we two and a half yeah, back? Yeah, two, two and a half back. Yeah. We have a game tonight. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we're going to do a quick – Run through of the divisions, uh, AFC, NFC, and just pick our winners. Uh, I'm going to start off with the NFC East, and I picked Dallas um, just because I think with a veteran quarterback, they should hopefully be able to dominate and hit lots of their targets. And they look good the other night. Mm -hmm. I got I have Philly for that one. You know, they just got Chip Kelly from Oregon, uh, fast paced offense, and Michael Vick and Lashawn, Lashawn McCoy look great out there. They just they dominated Washington the other night, so I have them as winning or getting a wild card if they don't. Uh, I have the Cowboys as well, partially because of their performance against New York the other night. With that kind of being a rivalry game, I was impressed, and with like Romo's performance and how he's keep like showing up every single year, so that'll be fun to see how he does this year. South. Um, NFC South, I have the Falcons. Um, even though they lost last week, they still like did some good things. They just couldn't finish. And I think that they'll like come back this next week. For the South, I have New Orleans, who they beat the Falcons last week. They got their coach back, who was suspended for 
the scandal they're involved in last season. So he's back. The team looks strong. They just beat Atlanta. So I have them winning the South. Yeah, mine was kind of a toss-up between Atlanta and New Orleans, but I ended up picking New Orleans uh, just because, yeah, they got their coaching, their original coaching staff back uh, for what they want to do. They got Drew Brees, veteran quarterback, knows what he's supposed to do back there. And uh, I think that they, right now they're playing a lot better than Atlanta, so I think they're going to overcome that. Um, NFC North, I have the Packers. Um, they had a rough start last week and lost, but with Matthews and um, – I mean, I, and their quarterback, like, I think they'll and be, Rogers. yeah, yeah they'll, <laughs> they'll be fine. But, I don't know, they're fun to watch. Like, Aaron Rodgers, he's, like, probably one of my favorite quarterbacks to watch just because of the way he plays the game and, like, the respect that he has the other players on the field. And I just know he'll do the best he can do. I, I have to agree with that. Green Bay, they're dominant. They don't really have a threat in that division. Maybe Chicago, but Chicago doesn't really make a run at the end of the season these past couple of years. Uh, Rodgers looks good. Defense is stacked. I think they're going to win the North. Yeah, they have a stacked defense and lots of offensive targets. Obviously, a good quarterback. Uh, they played a really good game. Obviously, I mean, tough opponent versus San Francisco and all that. So, I mean, I think they'll build on that and they'll, they'll come out on top. NFC West, sorry. Uh, NFC West fun. features mm -hmm. the runner-up to the Super Bowl last year in San Francisco. And I have, I have it between San Francisco, San Francisco and Seattle. They're both strong. They play in the... Uh, division championship game last year and pretty much the winner whoever wins the regular season games between them is going to win that division um i have 49ers i think they're going to be very successful this year as they were last year but with kaepernick and they also have like his receivers are really well so i feel like that whole offense is going to be pretty unstoppable yeah uh, i'd also put uh, san francisco kaepernick's playing the best football he's played, and with Anquan Bolden coming from the previous Super Bowl champs, Baltimore Ravens, uh, he proved to be quite the target for Kaepernick and making him even a better dual threat quarterback. All right, we're going to go to the AFC real quick, start out with the West. And Chiefs are in, the, in this division. I really want them to win, but I think Peyton Manning's too good. He, he, the Chiefs aren't going to stop him. He had seven touchdowns the other night against the defending, defending Super Bowl champs. No one really can stop them. They're a Super Bowl team for sure. But Chiefs definitely get a wild card. Um, I have the Chiefs. I'm going to be loyal right now. And I'm going to – I chose them just because I think they have a bright future and I'm just going to be cheering for them. I mean, it may not happen, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, I'm going to bleed red on this one too. <laughs> and uh, just like the Chiefs. Uh, just because, I mean, I, I like all the new weapons that we're bringing in. And, you know, it's a new team, new coach. But – so far, it started off well, and our defense has been playing really well. So if our secondary can keep it together, we might be able to stop paying men. I, I hope, we, I hope we can. I really want us to, but I don't think we can. <laughs> the Broncos are stacked this year. Uh, AFC East, New England, no real surprise. No threats in that division. I don't really have to say anything else. The Jets are in. Mark Sanchez are in that division, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have New England as well. Tom Brady is like, pretty much unstoppable every single year and he has like a lot of rookie receivers but he still like makes them connect because he's that good. Yeah I have New England obviously the rest of the division is kind of weak but uh, Tom Brady is a really good quarterback and he's going to make the most out of those young targets that he has. Yeah the, the wide receivers are doing really bad. Last night I saw ESPN tweeted that they're going to have open tryouts in the parking lot after the <laughs> game for wide receivers. They were 4-14 in the first half for uh, receptions. So uh, AFC South, out of the Texans, uh, the opening night on Monday, they were losing pretty bad to the Chargers. Came back 28 straight points, I believe, and beat them pretty easily after that. So, I mean, they are in the playoffs last year for the first time. They look pretty strong again. Uh, I, <laughs> I have the Colts, and um, their first game they had a good start, and Andrew Luck played, played really well his first game, and I, I've always been a fan of him even when he was at Stanford, so I'd like to see him go far. Uh, I have Houston, I have Texans as well. Um, just based on the amount of athletes on our team, offensive and defensively, uh, J.J. Watts, forced to be reckoned with on that defensive line, so I know he's always causing problems for other offenses, so I think with the amount of athletes they have, it should pull it off. And lastly, AFC North out of the Ravens. They lost their opening game, but that was to the Broncos. I mean, they still look strong. Everyone else in the AFC North, AFC North lost their first game, so 
it's kind of a toss-up between who's going to get second. But I think the Ravens are going to win the division again. Um, I have the same thing. I have Baltimore as well. Um, and same reason as CJ. Just, I mean, he, no one expected them to win against Peyton Manning. And, but I think that things will turn around for him. They have experience. Uh, I think Baltimore should win the division. I mean, the only other person I can see come back maybe and chase him is Pittsburgh. Yeah, just because of the amount of veterans that they have on that team and whatnot on both sides of the ball. But really, if Baltimore plays the way they should, they shouldn't have a problem. All right, well, that's all we got for you today. Thank you for tuning in, and have a great weekend. I'm CJ Wizard. I'm Maddie Palmer. I'm Austin Miller.